1949, WICU TV first aired on the air to broadcast in Erie, Pennsylvania and across the tri-state region. And our television station continues to serve the public from right here on State Street where it all began. Our Lisa Adams reflects on this history and our mission as we hit yet another milestone. For 75 years now, people have been passing through the doors of our studio here at 3514 State Street, the first building built in the country to be a television station. And whether they are clients or interview guests or the people who work here, we hope that everyone feels the same thing. This is a business that cares about its community and just wants to share its stories, news, weather, and sports. And we shared special stories reminding you of our legacy. Those bricks from the White House installed in our building thanks to our founder, Edward Lamb, and our wall-to-wall -wall weather coverage through the years when hard storms hit, from the winter of 1956 to recent scary storms. From the earliest days, we've served our community, broadcasting about automobile safety on the lawn of our studio with the likes of Erie Insurance founder H.O. Hurt, inviting children in to celebrate birthdays and wind-up cartoons with totally local character Pappy, played by Skip Letcher. You won't find anyone more proud of that early legacy than Tim Reed, whose uncle Mike Sopp put the station on the air and served as chief engineer for more than four decades. It meant a lot to him that this was the first building in the country to house a television station, the first television station in Erie, the first to go Keller, the first with videotape. There were so many firsts. It just meant a lot to him. And he believes that legacy is evident to the community in the work we do every day. So I'd have to say the one word to describe my uncle and his legacy is community. A lot of talent has passed through our doors and gone on to big broadcasting jobs. Our Dylan Dreyer, perhaps the most famous. But some have stayed, like Mike Ruzzi, marking 40 years. Why? We checked in with Evan Lovett Jones, who stuck around for about 20 years right in the middle of our history as the station transitioned from black and white to color. We've gone from, in my time anyway, from black and white film to digital. Uh, and who knows where things are going to go. It, it's been remarkable. Amanda Post is a homegrown talent who decided to stick around too. I've been here for over 20 years now and of course I have a degree in education. I taught first and so if you would have said to me as a child one day you're going to be on that TV just like everybody else I would have said no, no way. But here I am, and it's just been a tremendous uh, career change. But a lot has happened in the last five years that made being happy to be here a little more challenging. Erie News Now worked hard, sometimes risking our own safety to inform you, our community, through the global COVID-19 pandemic wearing masks, using polls to conduct interviews, and helping our viewers find and get those first vaccines. And we've worked to help you navigate politically divisive times with Erie sometimes in the crosshairs of the national divide. We've added new programs like The Critical Eye, hosted by our Isaac Petka, and First at Four, a new program with an old school feel that's cooking with lots of live guests. I love our blue couches and sitting down in that relaxed format and talking with people just about the things they're building, the companies they're growing, uh, the, the nonprofits they're building. It's just, it's really great. We feel really connected. And at no time did we feel more connected to our viewers than when we lost our colleague, Emily Madsen. You made it clear that for 75 years, members of our family are members of your family. And for the next 75 years, we pledge to keep that legacy, the legacy that started in 1949, alive. Lisa Adams, Erie News Now. And by the way, our Lisa Adams has been here for 45 years of those 75 years. She says she too is honored to have built a career here and to continue to be part of the WICU legacy. Thanks for watching.